Okay, where do I start? I'm supposed to talk about my relationship between myself and the Spurgeons. Hmm. Um. Oh my God. Okay, Cool Hand Luke. Have you ever seen that movie? You know, I'm a shaking boss. Well, in a humorous way, that's probably my relationship with Daryl. I am truly the jack of all trades, master of none. Anything from a light being hung, a picture being straightened, garbage being taken out. Um, but mainly, I help him out with his business. Um, I work for him. Um, I take care of any any technical question he may have, computer wise, different things. Um, if he ever chooses to listen, uh, I consider myself a friend. Um, I don't know if he does, but I certainly do. Um, what can I say? It's a loving family. Crazy as hell. Uh, we've got Daryl. We've nicknamed the Mad Italian. And he brought that upon himself. Uh, when he gets real hyper and he starts screaming, uh, afterwards he generally feels bad. And he'll apologize. I probably should have spit, huh? Then he'll apologize and uh, say, oh, I, I didn't mean it. I, I'm just hyper. I, I'm Italian. Yeah, I tell you, my ass. Uh, the kids, uh, you know, I, the interaction that I have with them, uh, Brooke is the movie star. You know, she's in and out. It, it's with her friends and so forth. They don't have any contact. Now, now Tiffany, uh, that's a different story. Uh, Tiffany, I've labeled the con artist. And the reason being, she's always like, hey, Ron, tell my dad I need this for my computer. I need that. Try to get new stuff. And, uh, I gotta tell you, sometimes I've probably done it, but most of the time, no. Uh, hell, he asks me for advice all the time. I'm the go-to guy for information. Yet when I give it to him, he pays no attention to it whatsoever. Uh, Gail, uh, she truly is the backbone. And here's how the hierarchy works. Daryl could call me for anything. You know, hey Daryl, you, you know, Ron, get over here. I need help burying a body. Nah, I'd probably be over with a shovel. Gail, on the other hand, could tell me, hey, Ron, I need help burying Daryl's body. And uh, I would definitely be there with a shovel. <laughs> so uh, she comes first, just the way it is. Uh, he'll go on his little rants and tirades, and uh, and you may feel sorry for her, but don't. Uh, if there were only one knife, Daryl had it, and they were in a, a back alley fighting, my money would go on Gail. Uh, strong woman. Very strong one. Uh, so you just remember that, Daryl. That's right. She owns most of the company now. Ha-ha! Yeah! I'll do what you say no more, boy!